live, live, live. We are going live. We are live. Good morning out there. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum, and it's 6 o'clock, or an hour later than normal. Talk about bullying, because we brought up bullying yesterday, because somebody, I guess, did you do a bullying thing in school, Eddie? Um, I don't know. What he was talking about bullying. No bullying, right? No. There's a big trend out there in anti-bullying activities for kids. You know, adults can get bullied too, especially in the IT business. But we really, as leaders, need to check for that bullying. Are are our leaders bu bullying the people working on your staff? Are you a bully, or are you a leader? Do you think being a leader is someone who gets everybody to do what you tell them to, and that, and they they just they just do it and they produce? They're gonna produce junk going to be full bugs they're not going to care they're going to turn over they're get another job and then you got to hire more people then your production rates going down because you're training new people and they're not as efficient they don't know the code but if you keep getting this turnover rate you know it was a it was a good question the other day i did an interview with the agile coach and he was talking about happiness um and doing a happiness grading right and one of the happiness grades is is turnover um He's right. It's a great measure of happiness. How much are people leaving the organization? You know, every, you know, that is a metric that's, a, that a metric that's just, you know, that's fact, right? I don't know if the visas out there will, will prevent that. It's really bad if you got a high turnover rate and everybody's working on a visa. That would be, that would be a sign that your organization is really having some issues. Um, especially here in the States. But I mean, if you have a high turnover rate on, on your business, like, you know, people are leaving every six months or something, maybe there's something to it. Maybe, maybe you do have bullies in your organization. Maybe you as a leader need to, you know, take that into account, right? All the teams. So as a leader, you know, you should be concerned over your turnover rate, the happiness factor. I mean, it's a solid number. It's not a survey. Ain't, it's it's not biased in any way. It's just straight turnover. How many people are leaving your organization? How do you compare to the rest of the organization? So, you know, I would advise people from a leadership perspective, start measuring your turnover rate. It's a great metric. So bullying, turnover rate, it's a great number to look at. Um, you got to watch for the bullying and forcing people to get stuff coming up with dates that are not achievable. And you tell them, well, you must meet that date. Well, that is a bully, right? You have said, I need to know how you can, can we make this date, right? It's like, how can we do it? Or is it possible? Or what is a good date? Even, even rather say, well, what do you all think is a good date? As a program manager of 30 years, that's how I ask the question. Bullying and forcing people to get stuff coming up with dates that are not achievable. And you tell them, well, you must meet that date. Well, that is a bully, right? You have said, I need to know how you can, can we make this date, right? It's like, how can we do it? Or is it possible? Or what is a good date? Even, even rather say, well, what do you all think is a good date? As a program manager of 30 years, that's how I ask the question. That's what I got for today. Uh, happy scrumming. Enjoy your day. And uh, thumbs up. <laughs>